To the extent that Joe Biden is functioning at all, he's doing so in a make-believe world where the biggest gun problem we have in America is the sale of guns to straw purchasers. Five percent of gun dealers, turns out, in the study we did, showed that 90 percent of illegal guns were found at the crime scenes sold by 5 percent of gun dealers. 5 percent sold 90 percent of the guns found at crime scenes. Really, Mr. President, 5 percent of gun dealers sold 90 percent of the guns found at crime scenes? That's not only wrong, it doesn't make sense. Yes, absolutely go after straw purchasers, but the problem we have in America is with illegal guns not sold by gun dealers, but instead sold illegally on the streets. The biggest issue we have with guns in America is the use of illegal guns to kill and maim innocent victims. Yes, buying a gun from a dealer and then giving it to a prohibited purchaser is a crime. But the last time we had a significant amount of crime occurring through straw purchasers was when your pal, Barack Obama, ended up selling guns to straw purchasers, who then took them to Mexico, then used by the cartels in the disastrous Fast and Furious calamity where a United States border agent was killed. You falsely claim that a ban on assault weapons and high-capacity magazines cuts crime. Ban on assault weapons and high capacity magazines. No one needs to have a weapon that can fire over 30, 40, 50, even up to 100 rounds, unless you think the deer are wearing Kevlar vests or something. Community policing and programs that keep neighborhoods safe and keep folks out of trouble. These efforts work, they save lives. Joe, your assault on weapons ban claim is also just not true. A 2004 Department of Justice study concluded that the ban on assault weapons cannot be credited with a decrease in violence. Assault weapons are used in no more than 8% of gun crimes before the ban, and your assault weapons ban did not significantly reduce the, num the murder rates at the state level. So stop patting yourself on the back with that one. And as for your claim that no one needs to have a weapon that can fire 30, 40, 50, or even 100 rounds, unless you think deer are wearing Kevlar vests, first of all, you're not funny. Second, you're not lucid. And third, who says the Second Amendment is all about deer hunting? Leave Bambi out of this. People can have a gun for a variety of reasons, none of which are your business. The Second Amendment reads a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms, shall not be infringed. It does not read a well-regulated deer population being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the hunter to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. The Supreme Court has ruled the Second Amendment protects the right of the individual to have and use guns for legal purposes, the right to bear arms vest in the individual, not merely a collective militia. And in the landmark case of D.C. versus Heller, the Supreme Court ruled all citizens are the militia and gun ownership is independent of mem membership in a militia or any kind of military unit. So stop acting as though deer hunting is the only reason people have guns. But your false statements continued through your press conference when you stated this. The gun lobby wants you to believe that cities that are the toughest gun, had the toughest gun laws still have the highest rates of gun violence. Don't believe it. That also is a lie. Chicago, one of the cities you mentioned, has one of the toughest gun laws in the country. It is illegal to possess a gun there. And yet they have one of the highest gun crime rates in the country. Believe it. Joe, you want to know why gun crime is up and violent crime is up and why we're seeing murder and mayhem on our city streets like we haven't seen in decades? I'll tell you why. These high-crime cities are being run by Democrats who either don't have a clue or don't care about anyone but themselves, as in, let me keep my security, and you peons, you just fend for yourselves. And take, for example, Myla Wiley, running for mayor in New York City. She has security where she lives, but doesn't want it for anyone else. 
And then, Joe, you go on to say, if anyone dares to go after the government, you're going to need more lethal weapons. If you wanted to think you need to have weapons to take on the government, you need F-15s and maybe some nuclear weapons. Is that a threat? What is that about? And you say, Joe, that the anti-gun policies are woefully underfunded. I don't know how you say this, but defunding the police and street crime units and defunding anti-crime units and denigrating cops and putting targets on the backs of cops is pretty much the response of your party that has gotten us into this mess. And now you're blaming cuts in law enforcement funding on COVID-19? You know, they've not only had to fight this pandemic, they've also had to deal with economic crisis that has decimated their budgets. Joe, you don't have a clue. Police Chief Murray of the Baltimore, uh, uh, excuse me, Police Chief Merritt, Police Chief Murphy, Paul of Baton Rouge, Louisiana, talked about how he's coordinating more closely with the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms the uh, ATF and the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Why don't you practice the names before you start the press conference instead of lecturing us on gun issues? You can't even substantiate the claims you make. There is only one way to fight gun crime, and you obviously don't know what it is. Here's some clues. Get yourself some confidential informants, some undercover officers, search warrants, surveillance, wiretaps, probable cause. Start making some arrests. And make sure that your cops charge those crimes which require mandatory incarceration. And make sure that the state's attorney's office or the DA's prosecute those arrests. Make sure that judges follow the law and send them to jail. And stop lecturing us and blaming guns for the violence in America. The violence is caused by those who hate America, hate police, and hate law and order. Make no mistake, not one of us law-abiding citizens is going to let you take away our guns or our ammo, no matter how much you lie to us. And that's my open. Let me know what you think on my Facebook and Twitter, hashtag Judge Janine.